Away, green jerseys of cavalry playing from right to left in the first half. Malonga could, might get in behind here, looking for Escalante and Worth in the right place at the right time. Opening chance inside the first 90 seconds. Escalante. Now can Pacific pile on some pressure in these opening five minutes? Left footed towards the back post. Chance to clear it away. Escalante does just that. Oliver Minatel, that's clever. And the shot. Oh my word. Well, Escalante must score, does score. And benefited from an unfortunate ricochet. And in the 12th minute, Worth is unlucky because he got his body in the way the first time. And then it pinged around and fell at the feet of the Honduran. And Escalante poked it in the corner for the opening goal. And the Cavalry lead Pacific. Boucher and Escalante, either the right foot of Boucher or the left foot of Escalante, one would imagine. That's all well forward there. Which way will they go? It is Boucher, went straight for goal and Worth needed to punch it away. Hooven with the throw. Campbell comes to meet it. Hooven will get another chance for Verhoeven. He can hit them from here. He's inside two for Hoven, thinking about it. Well, you could see what was on his mind. It's going to go behind for a corner. He was just trying to find a little shooting angle. It didn't matter to him how many he had to take on. Now Verhoeven will take the corner kick. 25th minutes. Carducci. It can be a real weapon for Squatty. In it goes. Headed on by Zator, as I mentioned. It's come to Malonga. Knocked back in. Zator should have scored. Might just hit this one. Does hit it. Straight into Boucher. And the second attempt is, well, it would have been good in rugby. Scalante or Boucher. One or the other. This time we saw it from the other side. Boucher went straight for goal. Scalante off the wall. Escalante trying to get to the byline, inside one, not to be fooled. Cavalry fans would love to see a second right on half-time. Make the half-time cup of tea, or beverage of choice, make it's that much sweeter. Boucher's going to go for goal, just curled it over the top. It is the final action of an interesting first half. Far too far up out to shoot we'll try and find a teammate and Malonga in the way clears without ceremony after a fortunate ricochet and possibilities here and Verhoeven's gone down and surely that's a penalty no question about that Carducci yep took his feet away clear penalty easy decision for the referee have another look just that trailing leg Despite the protests from Carducci, just there, caught Verhoeven. It's a penalty for Pacific. Terran Campbell scores. We're all square into the corner. Smartly taken. 11th goal of the season for Terran Campbell. Stacchio. All about hitting one. Waterman again, Oliver Minitel, and they are back in front. It was all too easy, and the Brazilian was in the right place at the right time. Johnny on the spot, Cavalry back in front. And the foot soldiers are making plenty of noise behind Nolan Worth's goal. The tour. The Hoven uh, tracking back, Pasquati. Zator's continued his run, and he stayed on side here. Zator into the area. Now, was there a handball? There was. It's another penalty. Minitel was closing in, and Ryan McCurdy, it's a second yellow card, and that's going to be a red card for Ryan McCurdy. Dominic Malonga, as McCurdy wanders away from Atco Field. 
Dominic Malonga. 3-1 Cavalry, right down the middle. Foot soldiers celebrate. substitute. Escalante has moved out to this right-hand side, left-footed might try to curl one, oh that's beautiful, terrific stuff, exclamation points for Cavalry, second goal for Escalante. Nakajima Farron, he wasn't far away and indeed Carducci needed to get a glove on it, it's his corner will be the final action of the game. Verhoeven, left-footed, Carducci punches, referee whistle to whips. And points to halfway. It's been a good day at the office for Tommy Wielden Jr. Congratulates Michael Silverbauer. But it was a comfortable win for Cavalry.